Hey, what up YouTube? It's your boy Thomas. Today I'll show you how to make uh, some Kung Pao chicken. I learned it from uh, Jeremy from School of Walk, so thank you buddy. Delicious. I'll show you my own slight spin on it, but more or less it's the same, so hope you enjoy it. So we'll start the recipe by making the rice first. Just a little tip, it helps if you put a towel down underneath your cutting board, that way your cutting board stay, stays more stable. So we'll start the recipe by making the rice first. We're gonna use half a pepper, the other half we're gonna use for the kung pao, and then we'll use a small onion, a few cloves of garlic, half a thumb of ginger, and uh, some olive oil, 100 grams of rice, 250 milliliters of chicken stock, and one to two teaspoons of smoked paprika. So just start by peeling your vegetables, dice the onion, finely chop the ginger and the garlic, dice up my green pepper, and just toss everything into a pan with a little bit of olive oil. Once you fry it up a little bit, you can season it with salt and pepper, and then I add the paprika, and right after the paprika, add your, add your rice so that it soaks up all the flavors and aromas from the vegetables and the seasoning. Once you fry the rice dry for a few minutes, then you pour it down with the chicken stock. Just cook until the rice absorbs all the water. Next, I'm gonna cut up my chicken. I just uh, saran wrap the surface and put the uh, latex gloves on. That way it just makes for a easier cleanup at the end. I have a special set of uh, knife and cutting board that I only use for cutting raw meats and I don't use it for anything else and I never cut raw meat on my other boards from which I eat and cut my vegetables in. After that I just cut my chicken up to thin strips and place them in a bowl to get ready for the marinade. So to marinate your chicken I use a splash of sesame seed oil, a few pinches of sugar, a small pinch of five spice, one and a half tablespoon soy sauce and a heaped tablespoon of cornstarch. You'll set that aside and next we'll make the sauce. For this recipe we'll use 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of hoisin sauce, 1 tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, a pinch of sugar, 50 milliliters of chicken stock. I use a bit more because I like to cook it down, maybe about 75 milliliters is what I use. 1 tablespoon of ketchup. The ketchup should be replaced by tomato paste, but in case you don't have it, as I didn't, then I just replace it with ketchup. And a small splash of dark soy sauce. You can set that aside and then we'll get, go get started on our vegetables. We'll just peel and dice all our vegetables and place them on the walk clock, meaning we organize the order in which we'll be placing the vegetables into the wok. For the spices, I used a tablespoon of Szechuan peppercorns, two teaspoons of coriander seeds, one red dried Thai chili, which was rehydrated in hot water. I checked the heat of my wok by sp sprinkling some water on it, and once I see it fizzle away right away, I know the wok is hot enough. Then apply your oil. Onions go in first. Once they start softening up, throw in your peppers. Make sure to keep your wok on a higher heat to make sure it always sizzles. As you keep adding your ingredients, you just don't want your wok to cool off. You always want the heat to stay in it. Once your peppers start softening up as well, push them to the back of the pan. Add a tiny bit of Add a small splash of oil. I use canola oil in this case because of a higher temperature point. And then add in your chicken. Move your vegetables over your chicken and press it down and let it sear. You want a nice black char on it. The ginger, garlic, and the spices with the chili go in right before the sauce. And once you put the spices in, you should pour the sauce in right after. Once you pour in the sauce, just cook until the sauce thickens up. The cornstarch in the chicken marinade should help the sauce thicken as it gets cooked down. Plate it by putting the rice in the bowl. I toss most of the cashews into the Kung Pao chicken, pop in your Kung Pao chicken on top and leave a few cashews to garnish with. Add some sesame seeds for extra effect and you got yourself Kung Pao chicken. <laughs> for tomorrow